Hey there guys, thank you for joining me again for another Star Wars Squadrons loadout video. Today is my personal favourite on the Empire side and that is the TIE Bomber. Now the TIE Bomber is an absolute monster at dishing out damage and at taking damage. Although you sacrifice a lot of speed and manoeuvrability to be able to do so. But with this build, you'll be able to take down starships and capital ship systems in one go. To start with, we've got the guided rotary cannon on the primary weapon. Now this thing has a bit of a wind up but it does lock on and that is obviously great for taking down starships but it does a massive amount of damage to both uh, the, the flagships to the um, Mon Calamari ship and to wh whatever you aim it at really it will obliterate everything on the left auxiliary we've got the beam cannon now this thing this beam cannon <clears throat> Excuse me. If you use this beam cannon in conjunction with the lasers, because you can use them both at the same time, you can take down the Mon Calamari shield systems, targeting system, or power supply in one go, as long as obviously you don't get blown up. But you can take them down and do just from 100 to 0 damage in one shot. And to accompany that, the assault shield. Now, the assault shield will obviously put a full frontal shield on you so that it will absorb damage. This is useful for when taking on the capital ship and you don't really want to... Um, you don't really want to engage <clears throat> the uh, normal starfighters if you can help it. This type bomber is really just used to be a bomber. But, I mean, by all means, fly it how you want to fly it. That is just my suggestion. <clears throat> on the countermeasures, we've got the sensor jammer. The sensor jammer is, well, it, well, the sensor jammer is exactly the same as it is in the other loadouts. Uh, it will stop people, any missiles that are locked onto you, from being locked onto you, and it will stop anybody being able to lock onto you for a set period of time. This is handy for when attacking starships and you've got people up your ass. For the hull, I've gone for the reinforced hull to give you that extra life so you, you obviously you can absorb more damage. That one is self-explanatory. And the engine, I've gone for the unstable engine because I like to get right up close and personal with whatever I'm trying to savage. And if I happen to get taken out in the process of doing that, I will take a hefty chunk or another starfighter with me. But trust me when I say, guys, I use this loadout all the time in fleet battles and I can, as long as I get a clear run and I can get up to the capital ship, I can take out systems in one shot by utilising both the beam cannon and the guided rotary cannon and just aiming it straight at whatever I want to kill or blow up and it does it. <coughs> Excuse me. And you get to really, I don't know, um, what's, what's the word? Obliterate! You get to really obliterate things, and I think that is uh, that is key for whatever you want to use it for. You know, you, you just want to um, be able to go in and destroy, and that is what this loadout does. But please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Please let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys have as a loadout down below. Um, you can catch me. I'll be streaming Star Wars Squadrons on YouTube from time to time. So if you want to swing by, say hey, you know, have a talk, discuss the game, discuss Star Wars, whatever you like, I would be more than happy to talk and meet any of you. But thank you guys for the continued support. And until next time, may the Force be with you.